This is my Trailmaster MB200-2. Uh, so I've done a few things to it. Um, I got the long travel shocks in the back. As you can see, I have a battery mounted right here. I'm just charging it up. Um, that goes to the electric star Tillotson, which runs beautiful. Uh, right out of the box, I just tore right into it. I took the governor out, um, threw this carburetor right on there. I already had a header for my old engine. All the blocks are like the same, but the Honda clones are pretty much exact swap out. Um, the only thing I had to do with it really was, well, back here was a breather. You get that out of the way, it comes stock on the engine, which I actually got a kit from Go Power Source couple of breathers you can see them. Um, yeah it came out real nice but I really just had to move the solenoid that's the only thing I really had to do to it and I took off the front panel here with the electric start and the key switch and I moved it up to here and it actually worked out really nice I used the stock bolt there the front end it looks really tall on this too because I hacked out about two inches in here and raised the fender up just made it look a lot nicer and then I made my own spacers which I made another video how I made those that added three inches in the front end they bolt right in the place um yeah it's real nice uh, it's got a nine tooth sprocket on the jack shaft I'm gonna have the 60 on the back again I built one for my buddy ordered him a sprocket he sent me the wrong one so I just took mine off and now I had to wait for another one to come for me to use again <clears throat> but, yeah, there she is. Real nice bike right there. Real clean. I ran all the wires really clean up through around on the frame. And it's just it's a real nice bike. Got one of these mufflers too. Everybody's running these. Uh, I don't know, man. I think it's just an empty tin can with a screen welded in two places in it. I don't know, it sounds awfully loud. I don't even know. It's almost like a straight pipe or something. But I don't know, everybody's on them. But yeah, there she is. And it looks real sweet too when uh, this plate's on it pretty much covers the battery right up so I can't really put it in place because the charger's on there but you get the general idea. So that's a nice little battery right there. It's a hundred dollar battery. How they justify charging a hundred dollars for something that big? I have no idea. There's my hand. See now you can really see how small it is. Hundred dollars. Give me a break. Uh, now the jack has that bottle. Whatever. It better work good. Yeah, there she is. Little beast. The reason I raised the front end like that too. I made these pieces just because when I put the rear shocks in, the front end sat lower. I just hated it. I was like, it just don't look right. It's nose diving. It's always working against itself. And I also, too, I'm going to split these open. If it's anything like a Harley, I'm just going to cut a piece of PVC. Whatever spacer's in here, you can just cut a piece of PVC, and hopefully it'll work. I'm going to see. So maybe I'll make a video of doing that, too. But yeah, man, there she is. She, that's beautiful setup and let me tell you these carburetors right here they wake it right up man you know an engine just an engine you know it's, it all depends how you feed it and here you go you want throttle response let me tell you it's like a four-wheeler now it really is it's beautiful but all right